Okay, welcome to my Enchanter Spell Buying Guide for the TLP. This is going to be aimed at the Eridun and Rizlona server. And as you can see, it is set to classic mode over here. We're going from level 1 to level 50. Okay, let's start out first with the first few levels. The first level, you can pretty much buy any spell. But let's talk about what spells are going to be really useful. Uh, the lull spell is going to be useful. What this does, it does a 1530 reaction radius reduction. What the 1530 is, is it'll reduce the radius to 15 around a mob. Let's say a mob has a reaction radius of 30. It now uh, means that the mob has to get closer than 15 to it to react and re-aggro or chain aggro it. 30 means it works up to level 30. This is a very good spell. Definitely get it. it you'll be called on to break camps. And the way you do it, if there's three mobs, you pacify or you lull the middle on the right side and you pull the left side. The animation at level one, uh, you know, I would skip on this because the thing is, is it's good for raising conjuration. It does require a tiny dagger, but it's more of a distraction so you can run away and get away. It does very, very little damage. I would skip on that. Um, just get out there and start fighting. You're going to need to build your defense up, so skip it. Okay, let's talk about this spell here. You want to get Shallow Breath as your first uh, damage over time. And the nice thing about this, you may actually get this spell with it. What this does, it decreases strength and agility by 5. Decreasing strength means a monster will not hit you as hard. It decreases the hit points by 3 to 8. This will help a little bit. It will decrease their agility, meaning their ability to avoid you. And it will be very good. So uh, go ahead and start firing this off. Minor Shielding, you're going to get this automatically. Put that on. That will give you a little more hit points. It will definitely help. It will give you some armor class. It will definitely help at the early levels. Minor Illusion will turn you into a tree and or the thing that's closest near you. And that's good if you want to go ahead and work on divination. Uh, and it's kind of nice to have just for fun more than anything. If you want a med, you can go to Minor Illusion. Okay, Taper Enchantment basically takes a, D, a buff off a monster or takes a debuff off you. This is also very good to have. Reclaim Energy gets energy back from uh, when you've got a pet and you want to get some mana back. It's hardly worth it, but these are so cheap, might as well get them right away. Here's one spell that I found that's kind of neat that actually does work in the early game. It's really strange, but this is a time in the game when stats do matter. So if you can decrease the strength of a monster by 10 to 25, sometimes that could take off 10% of the damage they do. I believe it. I mean, it's just really strange. But I've always gone with this, and I do find it works. Okay, so level one is not much, and you got your shallow breath and your low. But let's go on to level two. This is where things start to get really, really interesting. Now, you notice you have a level two pet. This level two pet costs about twice as much as a level one pet, and it's a little bit better. So if you want to get it, you can. It'll just be a distraction. Won't do a whole lot of uh, DPS, but if you're in a group, go ahead and get this. Your main job at level two is going to be to do uh, Tashania and to go ahead and Mez Adds. When this is important is when you get into situations where the tank has pulled too many and he's like, oh my gosh, I got three coming in and we're going to wipe. You try to Mez one or two of them. Keep in mind this is a spell that I've used all the way up to level 55. It is great. It mesmerizes four. And I will show you here. It mesmerizes four, two, uh, two ticks. To four ticks when you get up to level four. Four ticks is 24 seconds. This is huge, guys. Uh, up at level two, it's only like uh, two ticks, which is 12 seconds. That's still good. It's enough for you to do it. And the mana usage isn't going to break the bank here. It has a slight chance of Membler, but don't count on that. That's probably not going to happen. Um, so you will use this a lot. And the casting time is 2.5. So this is something I want you to keep in mind. In the later game, this casts so fast, especially with focus effects. That you don't even have to stun the mobs when you recharm them. You just cast this and you get them back. And uh, it's a good, one of the greatest spells in the game. It really, really is. Up until 55. This is why I always say enchanters are great. But once you pass 55, they start putting level limitations on the spells and, and all that. And it doesn't work as well. And you can't charm this, can't do that. So 1 to 55 are the golden years for the enchanter. Let's go ahead and level 3. Get your first, first point blank AE stun. Once again, you can kind of see the story here. You're set to do crowd control. This thing does use some mana. So you have to ask yourself, do you want to pop the stun on the monsters for four seconds? Do you want to mesmerize them? Stun is good because you can stun the mobs 
and you can beat on them for four seconds and they're going to be stunned. Mesmerize, well, you have to not hit them. If you mez them and you hit them, they break out of mez, or if you cast a spell on them. But stun, you can stun them and you can nuke them or whatever. So this is can be used in a, a separate situation, I would say. Like you could fire this first and then you can start mezzing things. But you need to communicate with your group and let them know, I'm going to mez, I want to mez this, or I want to mez that. And uh, you can lead with the stun. It's also good to bring your divination up. It has a long recast time, but you'll be using this all the way to level 55. Believe me, it is that good. You chain, you can chain cast three different ones. Very, very good. Haze, increase the AC. Uh, doesn't really work. Illusion Half Elf. If you're a Dark Elf, you want this because you can go ahead and change into something and get into Freeport or whatever. Fear, uh, if you're outside, you can use this if you're in a Fear Kite group. But if not, don't worry about it. Okay, here you have uh, Enfeeblement right here. This is another one where I was really surprised that it actually does work and it will reduce the amount of damage the mob does, does you. Notice it reduces strength, which is pretty cool. Suffocating Sphere is your next dot and you gotta take it where you can get it. But look at this, if you stock Enfeeblement and this, you can really help uh, reduce the amount of damage your tank has taken, maybe by 10 to 20% in some cases. And you can decrease hit points also with that so it's a good one you got to get it get gate get invisibility it goes out saying you're going to need the inviso don't even worry about eye of Confu confusion it just sends a mob running around willy-nilly and then when they come out of it they're coming after you i wouldn't worry about that uh wood elf if you want to look like cute wood elf chick go ahead and get that and people will give you free so and, and free this and free that you can fool them if you're like a dark elf or whatever or you're some ugly race get that and then start <clears throat> mooch and free stuff off them root you get it but keep in mind if for 30 mana what i'd rather do is mesmerize them but of course if they have a dot on them you got to try to root them but once again it blows a lot of mana it has a variable resist where it can drop the resist uh, uh it can break the root anytime it's not like mez where it goes the distance lesser shielding you will need this here we go let's talk about soothe right here reaction radius is smaller it's 10 and it works up to 40, so this is even better. And it lasts a long time, like two minutes, I think. So definitely want to get that. See Invisible, this is also good to get. Uh, you have Divination. This is There's not going to be any invisible mobs you're going to really encounter, but it's good when you see people sneaking around your camp and uh, you want to have this here. Okay, now you're talking about your level 7 pet. It's a little bit better. You can give them weapons and dual wield. They'll do a little more damage. Chaotic Feedback is your first nuke you get, level 7. So your evocation is going to be a little low. But what I, I'd like to do with this spell, it's very, very, very good later on in the game because a lot of times you're fighting casters and they're like wizards and it takes them 4 seconds to cast a spell. And this thing casts really fast. I'm going to show you. And what I do with this spell, if they're at a distance, is look at the cast time is 2. And I know they have, they're shooting some big nuke like whatever supernova at you whatever you can fire this and if this hits them it will stun them and interrupt their spell casting so it's very good to use later in the game for interrupting spell casting that's all you use it for uh, and at the high level game I use this and it works great so definitely want it early on you may not be doing a lot of it cancel magic of course that takes a one debuff um, off the enemy the closest one to the left or it takes the first debuff buff off you. Okay, let's go down to here. Uh, Alliance, this is increase your faction for quest. Illusion Gnome. This, people say, well, you know, why would you want to be a gnome? I'll tell you why, because if you watch my videos from Cornab, the gnome has one advantage that's an unspoken advantage. They have Gnomavision. What Gnomavision allows them to do is snuggle up real close to the wall, go into third person mode or first person mode, and see through the walls. What is good about that? You can see through the walls and you can type manually type out the name of the mob you want to target, like target slash tar underscore, um, you know, a underscore zombie, and it'll target them from that side, which is really important because then you can send your pet at them around the corner without actually seeing them. So gnomes have one, one, one advantage. It's gnome vision. So I would get, if you're not a gnome, get the gnome illusion. It's huge. I even use it at the high level game. It's very, very good. Sometimes you also want to be a small character because it's easier to navigate around. So get that. Bind Sight. What is this good for? You may think, oh, why do I want this? This is really, really, really good because what you can do, you can buy sight on your tank or your puller. 
and see where they're going and get a look at uh, what's going on with them. But it also has another good use too. What I used to do is when other raiders or raid groups were inside dungeons like Kudge Keep and stuff, I would go ahead and bind sight, or I'd use a higher version of this on their players to see what they were doing or see how it was going. You can bind sight on them and you can see what they're seeing and it's really cool. Um, so this is a great one to get. I always get bind sight um, and just use it when you can. Okay, let's go down to Languid Pace. Here's another one that's good. It reduces a tax speed by 15 to 45%, 15% early on, but later on 45%. If you don't have a shaman in your group, you're going to be the only slower. But what you got to keep in mind is for the mana cost at this level, what I remember at this level is that 15% slow or even 20% slow is not that big a deal for 50 mana. You know, figure how much damage you've mitigated and you could have probably used... Um, you know three chaotic feedbacks here by that time you could hit for you know more damage than this thing here but the nice thing is is a d disease base so it does land and stuff and later on in the game when you get up higher it'll do a pretty good uh, slow and it's very economical and it doesn't cost much so on things that are resistant you can cast languid pace a lot so early game wait a little bit uh, before actually casting this the mobs don't hit that hard but uh, when the when the mobs are real tough, you want to cast this on them because uh, you need to mitigate as much damage as you can. Like for named mobs, say you're fighting the Ghoul Lord, you need to slow them with something or another. World to your hurl is a very interesting spell that I'll only use in situations. Let's just say you're fighting a caster mob and you really want to put them on lock here, and you can't stun them all the time with chaotic feedback. If you pop World to your hurl on them, and it works nowadays, it'll spawn it'll go ahead and stun him for eight seconds and eight seconds is a lot of time the only problem with world to your hurl is it does get resisted so you have to watch out and watch your mana in this case once again you could probably fire three chaotic feedbacks for one of these and in that sense you could stun them three times and prevent them from casting but some mobs you just want to do this like they may have something that for some reason you want but uh depends on your mana all oh, the early game is all about managing your mana okay ebbing strength it still does work a little bit reduces the mob strength you can get the pet will help out a little bit keep in mind the pets sometimes get you into trouble down there next we're going to go down to serpent sight which is if you're a human you got to get this because otherwise you're going to be falling down cracks and all sorts of things because you're blind but at the same time you could get dark elf illusion which gives you ultra vision this is another nice thing if you're human get yourself a dark elf illusion and you're all good to go memory blur at level 10 it does work it as a 10 percent member blur which is not bad it's better than the clerics atone uh, so it has a 10 percent chance of working it's usually better than that now let's talk about the big level this is where the game totally radically changes all this while up to level 11 you've been suffering and you're kind of like the the one nobody wants they don't really want you you don't have any clarity or the shaman's got a slow you know, you don't have a haste or anything like that. Why do they want you? And it's just, as an enchanter, it's just pure, pure uh, suffering up until level 11. Then when you get level 11, you get charm. And I'm going to tell you, this spell is awesome. Why? Because <laughs> it's funny. Let's take a look at this. And it's really good they left this in the game the way it is because they never nerfed it. And let's hope they never do. But look at how long it worked. Last 4.3 minutes. Okay to 20 minutes of course you're never going to get use it that high but it charms up to level 25 and you get this at level 11 so this means right off the bat you're going to see some funny things like you're going to be able to charm level 13 stuff stuff that's red con to you and it's just going to go around and it's going to work fine the mobs have no magic resistance early on you just charm whatever you want and uh 90 of the things are going to charm and they're just going to hit like a truck and kill everything and just as long as you don't let them kill you you're okay casting time 2.4 seconds with focus effects this goes down to about two what that means is it casts almost as fast as a stun and that means you don't have to mez them at all so if your mob breaks your charm pet breaks you just cast this as you can usually cast right through and recharm him it's very very man efficient if you're curious about how it works i have uh, videos on that just check out look for charm pet and best place charm pet those kind of things uh, i have those and oasis is a great place to do it because the crocodiles have 
no magic resistance. You could turn them into like crazy beasties and go and tear everything up. But charm all the way, uh, definitely good. You're going to find that I would use this all the way up as high as you can because the casting time and the effectiveness of this spell is just crazy broken. It only costs 60 mana, just too good. And no need to stun to reacquire a pet. Choke, choke a doodle do. Okay, get this. You're going to need a dot. But one thing I want to mention is if you cast this on something, any kind of dot, and you charm uh, and, and you mez something, it will break the mez. So just be mindful of that. These are other things your trade skill things. Illusion high elf, you don't need that unless you want to be a high elf. Um, Illusion erudite, unless you want to do some quests. Enduring breath, you need some uh, fish scales to do that. That allows you to breathe underwater. Go ahead and get it. Bind affinity. Uh, yes, you need that because that allows you to bind. Okay, and here's the next mez that comes in that's very, very important. It's enthrall. And I'm going to talk about why you would need to use enthrall. Why is it good? Okay, you got mez already, mesmerize. That lasts by now 24 seconds. This thing lasts a, a lot longer. It lasts 48 seconds. It lasts twice as long. And why you need this is because later on in the game, What's going to happen is the mobs have more hit points. You're going to need to lock those mobs down a lot longer. So you will need enthrall. But only use it in situations where the mobs have more hit points. It's going to take longer to kill them. If you know that uh, you're in a situation where you're not going to have to wait that long, just you can see the mana costs on here. Just cast a level 2 mez twice. And just get busy and start casting it and lock those cycle through your targets. Lock them down at the lower one let people kill them off. You have to kind of see what people are killing. Next level, uh, oh, here is Rune. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Rune. At this level, it doesn't protect you that much. So, uh, you know, it's good for like before you get into battle, you know, you get the reagent that it requires, and then before the battle, you can cast a few uh, this on a tank, you know, say it's a tough battle, and it will help a little bit, but you're going to go broke if you start casting Rune on everybody. And uh, that's the thing is I wouldn't cast it all the time. In fact, I wait till later before casting rune. This goes fast. Invisibility undead goes out saying you need to buy it. Here's a level 14 pet. Go ahead and get it. It'll help you if you're in a situation where you need that. Sometimes people don't want you to put that up in a dungeon because it goes and gets aggroed from other things. It runs all over the place, gets you killed. Okay, so let's talk about this. Your next haste is going to be called quickness, and the shaman doesn't have it yet. Once again, enchanters lead the uh, race when it comes to haste, but shamans lead it when it comes to slow. So you increase your attack speed by 20, and it goes all the way up to 50%. This is good. So the way you can look at this and why is it really important is because let's say your tank is doing DPS of 100 DPS per second, right? And then if you put this on them and at level 21 and they start doing 150 DPS, you've increased the DPS by 50%. And in many cases, this is huge. On average, those numbers are accurate. You will increase their damage and it is big. It's really, really big. Um, a lot of times you don't have to do it if the caster is not that big a deal or if it's like a pet, but I mean the, the, the player, your, your melee class. But I would say for you got like a monk in your group, or something you definitely want to put it on them because they will benefit big time from this it does cost a lot of mon uh, mana and it doesn't last so long but get it okay levitate's good to get uh, definitely going to get that forget the tree forget the barbarian disempower can work for you it lowers their strength you will notice it working not as good as you go on so it's kind of debatable if you want to blow 45 mana you got to think about what can i do with that 45 mana can I cast, maybe I can cast a quickness, and quickness will kill the mob more, you know, so chase the moon, forget it, sanity warp, get it, because you may have situations you're going to mez, here we're going to talk about the big one now, and now we get to the big one, mesmerization, also known as AE mez, got to get this spell, really, really, really got it, this is the train stopper spell, now what it does is it casts an air of effect mez, uh, we're using the level 2 mez, on all the mobs up to eight mobs in an area so here's what you have to really look for we're going to go into here and we're going to look at what's the big deal with this spell so what you have to do when you look at this thing is focus on this number of ae range 30 okay 30 is huge because 
it's not that big it's really important so you have to kind of know what is 30 and uh, that's kind of like maybe four players standing shoulder to shoulder side by side that'll give you an error of 30 so you have to know what that is and when they're coming in or how is this going to work because a lot of times people use this and they wait too late they fire too early and the mobs are spread out and it doesn't mess all of them and this has a, a recast time 1.5 you're gonna have to spam it again and other times they just uh, don't know you know so the thing is is figure out where AE 30 is and like I said they're gonna be really tight and then you're gonna cast this and you mess the whole pile very very good you're probably gonna get a resist here and there that resist comes out you use the standard mess and then back up again remez the whole pile people will love you for this one because at this level you're the only one that can AE mez with this kind of effectiveness and lock people down get the shielding go over here get the endure magic forget the ogre one you can get that so you can go into ogre town and cloud uh, it's okay don't even worry about it calm get this look at the reaction radius is five and it goes up level 50 you definitely want to do this sympathetic aura okay people have said oh well charisma helps charm I can prove it doesn't as long as you have charisma of 110 you're good to go you don't need to have a charisma buff at all um, below 110 it'll affect you but above 110 I, I did a I forgot what server I was on I was on a TLP I just kept my charisma at like 115 or something it was fine it was the same as everybody else you want to get this spell Tashani this will reduce the magic resist by 10 to 33 this will allow you to land more spells like your mezes and stuns and all it's very very important this is must have right here Tashani must have uh, calm must have let's go down here feckless might by this time this is becoming a useless spell berserker strength can increase your guys strength a little bit but the haste is uh, man is much better saved for haste benevolence increases faction for quests here we go let's talk about the next one color shift and why is color shift really good color shift can is on a different timer as uh, the, the first color one color flux so you can fire color flux done for four seconds when they're about to break out fire color shift as they're breaking out they get stunned for a total of 10 seconds and this is really good because it allows your wizards or whatever to just pound away at them so very very nice so let's go down to the next one it's called alacrity and check it out once again enchanters get it at 21 shamans get it at 42 it once again increases uh, the haste only by 22 to uh, 62 so if we look at the other haste so you're looking right here 22 percent at level 21 let's go back and look at the other haste let's go back quickness look at what ha happens at level 21 you get a 50 percent haste right of course quickness doesn't last as long let's look at this but I want to point this out because um, well that's 11 minutes so that's actually good so it lasts 11 minutes so when you hit level 21 quiz it a day do you cast quickness where you get a 50 percent increase for 80 mana or do you cast alacrity at 115 mana and get 22 percent so it's really good to know this because if you go in and you hit level 21 and go, I got alacrity, yay. And you come into the camp and you're like, okay, guys, here we go. And you got quickness and you cast this. Everybody notices suddenly, hey, what's up, uh, dude? I'm swinging a lot slower now, you know? And then look at this. At level 37, your haste only goes up to 62. So you got to look at it that way. Like quickness, uh, it casts uh, a lot cheaper and it does at level 21 this there will be a level in between here where you may want to switch but you also have to look at the duration let's check it out the duration is about the same see right here uh, 11 minutes at the max and stuff so once again you're gonna I would use quickness more you will have to cast it uh, more but it's situational some battles you have a couple battles and you'll be able to kill all the mobs in 10 minutes and then you can rest and just stay with that but keep be mindful of what the percentages are in the old days people didn't know and this was a, a big, big, big deal. Strip enchantment. You, this is a research-only spell like mesmerization. You want to get this. This is really good for tearing off four of them. That means it tears off four debuffs off the monster. Rune 2, once again, you may or may not want Rune 2. Only for certain situations where you want to protect the tank from a little bit of melee damage. Pop that on them. At level 23, you get up to Beguile. Beguile is a good spell. Still one of the good spells. Look at this. 23 to 37 that's a 14 point 
different 14 level difference that you can charm up to of course you're not going to be able to land charm more than maybe two or three levels above you and i would recommend charming blue mobs or less but nevertheless it charms all the way up there it has a relatively fast casting time which we're going to go look at casting time of 3.5 seconds which is really good recast is pretty good the duration is good last 7.9 minutes and this is pretty good this is for you can use it for a couple fights in fact you may even keep it for the whole rotation through the camp and kill everything off and if your man is good and you keep your pet charm forever some pets are really good uh to to charm there's some that are cleric mobs and lower gut that they will last forever for you and they'll buff you too which is really fun tepid deeds is slows once again look at the initial slows only 20 percent but up to 70 percent up here so you can be using this spell later on and it'll still do a pretty good i think the slows are capped at 70 percent or so and once again uh you'll be you can use this at higher levels too enchant gold illusion skeleton gives you fire resist not a big deal once again you know how i feel on instill the problem with instill is that it gets resisted and uh, it can break at any time it's not like a mez where it goes a distance it may break in the middle so you got to watch out for wasting mana on this go with a, a mez solution because uh if you put this on and the mob's taking damage he can break listless power again kind of a waste if you have the mana to blow and everybody's blowing the mobs away you can cast this but geez 90 mana forget it save it for your nukes and you'll kill the mob faster the faster you kill the mob the less mana the cleric uses the less tank the tank damage the tank takes feedback is your first damage shield and this is basically insignificant uh, compared to mage damage shields it's used basically to um, go ahead and and buff newbies and power level them i have very little use for it it's a research spell so hey what the heck you put it on them and there's no mage you get some few ticks finally clarity this is where the game changes again the enchanter starts takes a huge leap forward so initially at level 26 it increases it by one tick uh up to level 33 it increases it by 10 now those are big big increases that you're going to see right there the 10 is is like godly in this game the game is so slow but 10 makes a big difference and you see how long it takes them to go up it goes up almost one tick per level and the earlier on there's another uh mana regen called breeze but uh usually that's not available i can't remember if it's available on a classic uh, lock server i think the server has to have kunark available enabled to unlock breeze it's a slower version of this but you get it at like level 14 or so but it's assumed this won't be the only mana re regen will be available at 26. so once again your levels 11 where you become real strong and then level 26 where everybody wants you in the group forget curse of simple mind this does nothing at all because as you know mobs have unlimited mana and intelligence and the way you can see as i've done a video where uh, charmed uh, one of the uh, guys in lower guck he's a cleric mob and he never ran out of mana ever so this ain't going to do anything this is mainly for pvp but even then it's not going to do anything it's it's totally useless suffocate once again it's another dot you're going to need it if you're going to do damage ultra vision if you're blind as a bat go ahead and get that obscure those are okay now here's another spell let's talk about augmentation this one's a little bit better but once again look at these increases it only increases 15 percent at level 28 the thing it's got going for is it lasts a long time and increase your agility and these kind of things it does a little bit you know and people like it because it stays on a long time but once again by this level you're going to have your alacrity hitting a lot harder i was hasting better and you're going to have quickness working like really good so you may just want to stay with those if you want to um, be mindful of your mana usage and save the extra mana for nukes or stuns something like that you can actually help the group out but if you're lazy just cast alacrity on them or if people don't know cast it and then just say yep i got you bro and then they can think they're all happy and stuff this is uh, Din's Dizzying Drought, also known as Triple D. And Triple D is like World to Your Hurl. It's a stun. It takes a boatload of mana, but it will stun a single target. Only for situations, I usually don't cast it because it takes up a spell slot and it takes forever and it gets resisted. And you can chain cast this with World to Your Hurl, but nah, it's okay. Next, let's talk about the pet. The pet is good. Now here's another one that's good. 
Entrance. Entrance will give you a longer mez. Let's go ahead and look at what the mez is. The mez is for 1.2 minutes. So once again, when you really absolutely need to keep the mob locked for a long time, you pick up Entrance. And you can cast a regular, I usually go like this, cast level 2 mez. And then my highest long lock, lockdown mez Entrance will be this. And I'll use this guy to really lock him down if the uh, camp is really tough because many times you really want to lock down the mobs for a long long time because it takes too long to kill the other ones but you have to balance some mana because look at 85 mana in that amount of time if you're still alive you can quickly cycle around and start casting low level mez on them for every 24 seconds and if you've got it down you will save mana and you'll get less resist and everything mana sieve this one is basically supposed to be used for raids for lady vox to take her mana down so you know it's basically for raiding here's another charisma one you know forget it you know greater shielding here's your pet again uh anarchy you first get a decent nuke here it's okay get that cast site i would get this because cast site's really good for spying it has a longer range and it casts ultra vision now you're coming up to rune three rune three is nice you can see it gives you about 400 damage once again they'll rip that off in one or two hits so it's also good when you want to protect a caster or something when the situation is really, really uh, dicey or you know you're going into a tough situation, use that. Incepted weakness, forget it. Not going to do anything. Pacify, here's a big one. The one reaction radius at up to 55 is godly. Get this. Definitely, definitely get this. Also get this one, insight. This increases the wisdom as you go up and this will add more mana to people. Uh, so you want to get insight because uh, some people will want this more than the others. Okay, next thing is Mind Wipe. It has 15% Membler. It works, and this is pretty good because you can Mind Wipe things. If you mez them, you can cast Mind Wipe and then get out of the camp. Uh, it's really nice. It's like Fade on the Bard. Gravity Flux, not worth the mana at all. Totally, totally worth this. Keep in mind, it can hit you too, which is bad. I would skip on Gravity Flux altogether never i've used it a couple times and i was so disappointed next thing you want to talk about is cajoling whispers and whispers is a really good uh charm it charms up to level 46. what is key about whispers you have to keep in mind is a couple things here one thing is is the cast time is long and i mean really really long but on the other hand duration is 12 minutes and that's really good because when you talk about the higher level game say at level 15 115 the charms only last good enough for one fight or one and a half fight they're really sad but back in the day in classic the charms could last a long time look at this 12 minutes up to 20 minutes this is really key and it goes up to 46 level 46 so this means how do you use this say you're in lower guck uh, a lot of the mobs that are close to like the ghoul lord you can charm one of those level 46 ones when you get within level of them and the thing's going to last a long time. It's going to go the distance. And you can use that and just totally destroy stuff in Lower Guck. And so this is where it's a really, really good spell. I've also used it in Kedge Keep. And we charmed a bunch of uh, mermaids and sharks and killed Estrella at an earlier level. And we killed her at 37, <laughs> which is funny. We use Cajoling Whispers. And that's how good this spell is. Of course, you got to keep in mind with a long recast time to require your pet, what you should do is use a level 2 mez. Mez the thing, and then you get the 5.5 seconds of casting of this and reacquire your target. Total turnaround is about 10 seconds. So keep in mind that that's what you're dealing with in terms of time on there. So you got to have 10 seconds uh, set aside. Resist magic, get it. You're going to need it. Definitely later on at this point, you definitely need it. Rampage, it's okay. 90 mana for this. I don't know. Still, to, in my opinion, not really worth it at all. You could find other ways. Immobilize, same deal. Problem with immobilize. You're going to blow mana because if the mob is taking damage, they can break. If they're not taking damage, they can break. I've seen a lot of things. I usually use a low level root. I, and if I want to park them, I mess them. You're probably not going to need it. Incapacitate, same deal. It lowers. Look at how low it lowers. Agility, strength by six. At level 40, come on, you know, it doesn't that doesn't do anything for you. And at level 60, at level 50, it lowers it by that much. That's nothing. I mean, mobs have like unlimited strength at that point. It won't do it. You won't notice a difference at all. You just notice your mana total going down. Rune 4, finally, you got a decent rune. And uh, if you need to get the reagent, you can use that. 
Let's go down to here. Let's talk about shift list deeds. Once again, look at this. Reduce attack speed by 6% at level 41. So once you get this at level 41, it's only going to reduce it by 6%. That's like nothing. So don't even bother with it. Go back a ways and find other slow like tepid deeds. And by this level, it's going to be uh, close to whatever 50%. You want to start using the previous slow at this level. So you don't have to buy this at 41. I see a lot of people get to 41. They're like, yeah, I want to go buy shiftless deeds. And they run out there. And they buy it and then they use it and you're like, what? It didn't do much, you know. But instead, if you use the old one and you can wait like five, ten levels or whatever it is, and then you buy the other one, not only will the other one be cheaper, the, the new one be cheaper to buy, but you'll be maximizing. It's really important to keep this in mind. Not a lot of people know it or they know it and they don't follow by it. Uh, here's uh, brilliance. It increases uh, intelligence slightly more than wisdom. But insight is kind of close to this as you can see here look very carefully uh, they're pretty much the same you know but one costs less mana than another tashania right here is a i believe this is a quested one you have to do the quest look up the quest on it's getting a bunch of coins it's not too hard and this thing here says increase poison counter by one what this means is it's poison based so it checks the mob's poison resistance and basically this kind of spells unresisted anyway so in order to remove it if it's on you you have to cast a remove poison but you can see here keep in mind that 41 only removes reduces magic by 9 42 at 49 so still once again you're better off using the older one which by now is going to be working at max efficiency so keep in mind what these numbers are so that you don't end up using the weaker version here's a spell i really like Pillage enchantment. enchantment, what does it mean? It means it takes out four buffs and it has four counters on them. So if, if you got an enemy with four mobs and they have um, eight counters of uh, magic resist on each one, you got to cast this twice. If they have four counters on each of those buffs, cast this once, it takes off four of them. So it's very, very good. I, I like pillage. Uh, it's research only. So it's, once again, situational and group settings. You may not ever run into a mob that has it. Here's another one, Color Skew. It's a point blank AE stun. Uh, you can chain cast with Color Flux and Color Shift. And this, line all three of them up. It's very good. It keeps everybody locked down. I would get this for sure because you can set up chain stuns and really lock the battlefield down or the camp down and let people go to town on stuff. Discordant Mind is 288 damage. That's another nuke. You go ahead and get it. Here's a Membler that's even better. It's Recurring Amnesia. It'll go ahead and Membler them. Get that. Forget Paralyzing Earth. Forget it. Don't need it. And now here we go. The final charm that you get. It's called Allure. It charms up to 51. Now let's take a look at what has happened to the charm. You all remember uh, CW or Cajoling Whispers. Whoops, uh, it's clicked on it by accident. You remember CW, it was a 5.5 cast time. This is a six point cast time and it lasts 14 minutes right here. So it goes 14 to this. So this is pretty good. So you can get this charm on them. So just keep in mind what the durations are, what the man usage is, but six seconds is a long time. So once again, if, you're, if your thing breaks, uh, your pet breaks, go ahead and use level two mana to reacquire them because it goes up to 51. And that's all you're really going to have to worry about in terms of charm. Here's one of my favorite spells. And I call this Blanket. Uh, for short, Blanket of Forgetfulness is a targeted AE membler. And it has really high numbers of 20. Take a look at this. And let's show you what the radius is. It's really important uh, what this is. And this is why it's so good. The AE range of 60. That's really, really big. <laughs> uh, it's... It was so good that they turned this into an AA, alternate advancement ability, later on. And I still use this up at level 115, that that's how good this spell is. Uh, because you have modifiers, that you can improve this. But even back in the day with this, this thing is just a bomb. And you can cast this thing, you know, it's 12 second recast, 4 second cast, but this thing rocks. So Blanket is my favorite membler. I even use it on single targets. It's just great. I keep it memmed and, and bam, I go with it. Now let's talk about Swift Like the Wind. Finally, you get a good haste. And notice there's none of this level BS. It's just straight up, let's go, 60% haste. And um, the problem with this thing is, unlike augmentation, it doesn't last as long. So 
people sometimes cast augmentation because it, at this level it'll give a pretty good haste but if you absolutely positively need more haste for less time then go with this of course eight second uh, cast time is quite a bit and the mana usage is good but the way to think about it is if your team is doing 200 you know 200 dps and you want to get them to do 300 dps which will, is a huge difference and by that matter reducing the amount of load on your cleric and keeping people alive and killing the monster earlier put swift like the wind on them now here's the next spell we're going to talk about is dazzle and what's interesting about dazzle you see this number two times 55 two dash slash 55 with a member component this means it has two chances to land up to something that's level 55 and dazzle is a good spell because in addition to that, it, the casting time is pretty reasonable, and uh, it does the five-second recast, so it's okay. You know, I, I 1.6 minutes, it's a good lockdown on it. I would definitely get it. In fact, I like to get all the Mez type of spells that you can going forward. Grasping Embrace is your, your dot. Go ahead and get that. Uh, Shadows, more of this. Don't worry about Group Resist Magic is good to get for your whole group. Make sure you use that. The pet, okay, get the pet. And that basically rounds it out for the enchanter. You can see, let's scroll back. 50, there's nothing. 49, there's nothing. Those are sucky levels. 48, you get the pet and you get group resist magic. It's okay, you know. So you're looking at 48, 49, 50, you get absolutely nothing. You, nothing. 47 is your defining level where you get dazzle and swift like the wind. So 46, 47 are the levels you're talking about. And that's how the game worked out in Classic they said back then that you know the game's pretty much over and uh you know we're not going to give you ice comet in the end uh, the wizards got ice comet which is a huge game changer really awesome spell but you get nothing you just get you know worthless pet and all that but we're going to give you the best haste and we're going to give you a nice mez here and we're going to give you a good charm so remember you can work up to level 51 so that means in classic you can be going down and taking down with a group taking out a ghoul lord taking out a frog lock king doing all sorts of crazy stuff with this class. And of course, with the Membrler, it allow you to break camps and really define how you play. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you out on Eridun and Rizlona. hope this helps you form out, get an idea how to play, what to do with your enchanter. And I figured it would be better than um, just doing a little guide because the spells are all what it's about when it comes to enchanter. Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the... Rizona or Eridun server.